Hello everybody, welcome to another walkthrough of Red Dead Redemption. This is the second Abraham Reyes mission where I feel like we are close to playing Javier Escuela and Will Williamson. So let's see. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. No, you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you going to marry her? Ha! <laughs> marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight cut and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, if you lock with it, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother. Ah, huh? yes, the man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> the fucked up of Abraham to do that to a woman. I don't believe in doing that to my wife. Let's go, John. Today we will both have victory. Two right shotgun Andreas, so. I always get my shotgun when they say right shotgun. Bien. Vamos, hermano. Let's see if they have anything to say. My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's man in El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. I am happy it was your bullet jump after what he did to you at Chuparosa. I wasn't going to give him a second chance to kill him. He must have felt good. Not particularly. He was hardly worth the bullet. Really advised 
admired Josh, of course, but then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right now. Josh started falling apart and hit Javier harder than any of us. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he never believed in turned out to be a problem. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fun. We was close once. But he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die. We had a chance to save him. And didn't he teach you any these families during all this time you were together? I remember Cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that cabron. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williams. So who was that girl back there? Another loyal supporter of three men. What? You want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Jones? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your title. And for her, you will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me can not be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breathe, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing to the veins of the peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of players, a king. I wish I'd never had. This is already over. I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them have been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. Our land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. Is it enough to have some more non-socialist The revolution is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work, he will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life. But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, when you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. Let's see if it's true. I have to say, I'm not usually in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too, but I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. 
Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Riquez. A famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. Okay, since we've joined Science, let's get to destination. So, let's go. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off with your clothes. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long is the feud? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, Arulio. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Remember to jump, my friend. Let's go see. Which I doubt he's there. She's not. Let's use his grappling gun to get some help out. There's Javier Escuela. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. Hi. Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not going to shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. 
then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you beef. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die Whoa. to save your own skin. And now <laughs> you expect me to care oh, about oh, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Who's having no fishing with now, huh? Get Javier Escuela? Who the hell are you? Where is Gano? Let me go get him. Oh, yeah, my God. Well, I'm just taking that horse. Fuck it. I would recommend you hogtie Escuela and keep him alive because he might be able to give you answers where Williamson is, so... Yeah. What am I doing here? Try shooting this Did you think I wouldn't come for you? He's full of shit. Bill is here. It's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Let me go skin that. Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought she was a creep. Sorry, I just did the skinning. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Let's head back. You don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. Choose to hang. Finally, you have what you came for, my friend. Okay, Squilla. You and Bill are back together. You crazy mix. Oh, shit. Look, you sure hope what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh, ah, oh, you puto. Oh. One day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Uh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know, that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements, come. Yeah, go with your puto. <laughs> the army is coming. Get up there and man that cannon. Let's see 
Make sure I got the right area. Ah, son of a bitch, not again. Why do I always keep going in the wrong places? kill Javier Escuela next so good thing we put the wife he might tell us some info so Let's see what he says gonna be so beautiful mr. Marston fancy seeing you down here I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you you've done well mr. Marston now Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach <laughs> come on you Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is clear? Unfortunately, nothing is clear, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> Okay, great, that's it. That was pretty much going to be in the Javier Escuela there. We got one more Abraham Reyes mission awaiting us. So, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to this. Help leave a comment. Stay tuned for the next, for the final Reyes mission.